I'm here. One of my lilac bushes. The backyard. It's big. It's big. It's probably bigger than it's supposed to be, and that's okay with me. Uh, I basically let plants do what they want. So, I'm supposed to be able, lilacs send out suckers. So what that means is they send out little, little roots underground. in a city lot or something or you want everything to look nice and neat this bothers people because it basically is I, it's not going to take over because this plant has been here a full grown tree since I've been here and it's it's moved like two and a half feet so it's not it's not like it's going to take over the yard but <clears throat> if you wanted to you could pull them up but what I'm going to do is I'm supposed to be able to start new lilac plants from these. If I dig them up, notice they come out like the main plants over there. If I dig them up with the roots, I should be able to plant them and they should make little lilac trees. And then if anybody wants a lilac tree from me, I can set that up. Oh look, I can even pull it out. It's probably not the best way to do it for the plant, but just to show you. You can pull them out and see all those roots if I replant it. Hopefully this one's got enough roots and it's not too damaged. It's better to dig them up and be a little nicer with them. But I have so many here. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Okay, that one's going to need to be cut. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and uh, pull these up and uh, pot them up and see if we can get some plants going. Wish me luck. Okay, so there's about three in here. I just put it on my doorstep for the moment so I can keep an eye on it and move it if it gets colder. You know, I don't really know how cold tolerant they are at this point. I'm assuming if it gets really cold, I'll just bring it inside. But, um, and also I should mention, I don't know if this was the right time of year to do this. It's early spring now. It's, you know, the end of April and it's just budding everywhere. So... I don't know, you know, it's the time of year where the plant should be sending all its energy up into the flowers. And now I've basically ripped it out of the ground by its roots. So it's definitely going to need some extra time and energy to repair its roots. So this may be a huge success and this may be a huge failure. But either way, it's going to be a learning experience, right? So, um, and if it doesn't work, then I'll try it again after the, after the uh, plants, but because there's a ton in there, I just left them in there. I don't usually bother to cut them down. I did this here in the front only because I think I'm going to plant mint, but normally I just let it do its thing. You know, like the more lilac bushes, the better as far as I'm concerned. So I just, and it doesn't take over. It's not like mint or comfrey or something where it just takes over everything and you can't get rid of lilac. You know what I mean? So, um. Yeah, see how it goes. So it's only been a couple of days, but, and they got to sit in the rain. But right here you can see, the blooms are starting to open. So that's wonderful. So that's a good indication that, that they're still alive. Yay! Hi, so just a quick update on the lilac suckers that I had transplanted in the beginning of the season. Um, I don't remember exactly what date that was, but uh, today's like the end of June. It's like June, I don't know, 26th or something like that. Who can keep track anymore? But this is the original, the one that was in my video. And I'll take this away so you can see a little bit. Now what I did was I basically just neglected it. You can see it's got... It's got weeds growing in it and everything. I just left it out here on the porch and I haven't been watering it. I haven't been protecting it from the sun. I haven't been doing anything. And it's doing really well. Look at that. And it's making new leaves. It's making new leaves. Now obviously it didn't do any flowers this year. Probably next year I'm thinking. 
But uh, yeah, and here are some other ones I did. A couple others that are also ooh, lilac, done from lilac suckers. The same way. So yeah, this is a really viable, um, viable way to make the plants. Here you go. See that? Very cool. So if anybody's looking for uh, for small lilac plants, that's always an option. Or you know, just send me a message and hit me up. <laughs> okay. Happy gardening.